Fort William College, also called the College of Fort William, was an academy and learning centre of Oriental studies established by Lord Wellesley, then Governor General of British India. The law to establish its foundation was passed on the 4th of May 1800 to commemorate the first anniversary of the victory over Tipu Sultan at Seringapatam. It was founded on the 10th of July 1800 within the Fort William complex in Calcutta. Thousands of books were translated from Sanskrit, Arabic, Persian, Bengali, Hindi, and Urdu into English at this institution. Languages taught Fort William College aimed at training British officials in Indian languages and, in the process, fostered the development of languages such as Bengali and Urdu. The period is of historical importance. In 1815, Ram Mohan Roy settled in Calcutta. It is considered by many historians to be the starting point of the Bengali Renaissance. Establishment of the Calcutta Madrasa in 1781, the Asiatic Society in 1784 and the Fort William College in 1800, completed the first phase of Kolkata's emergence as an intellectual centre. Teaching of Asian languages dominated, Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Sanskrit, Bengali. Later, Marathi and even Chinese were added. Each department of the college was staffed by notable scholars. The Persian department was headed by Neil B. Edmonstone, Persian translator to the East India Company's government since 1794. His assistant teacher was John H. Harrington, a judge of Siddhar Diwani Adilat and Francis Gladwin, a soldier diplomat. For Arabic studies, there was Lieutenant John Bailey, a noted Arabist. The Urdu department was entrusted to John Borthwick Gilchrist, an Indologist of great repute. Henry Thomas Colebrook, the famous Orientalist, was head of the Sanskrit department. William Carey, a non-civilian missionary and a specialist in many Indian languages, was selected to head the Department of Vernacular Languages. While notable scholars were identified and appointed for different languages, there was no suitable person in Calcutta who could be appointed to teach Bengali. In those days, the Brahmin scholars learnt only Sanskrit, considered to be the language of the gods, and they did not study Bengali. The authorities decided to appoint Kerry, who was with the Baptist mission in Sri Rampur. He, in turn, appointed Maridiunjoy Vidyalankar as head pandit, Ramnath Bikaspati as second pandit and Ramram Basu as one of the assistant pandits, along with teaching, translations were organized. The college employed more than 100 local linguists. There were no textbooks available in Bengali. On 23 April 1789, the Calcutta Gazette published the humble request of several natives of Bengal for a Bengali grammar and dictionary. Topic location It was located at the corner of Council House Street. The house was subsequently occupied by Messrs. Mackenzie Lyle and Co., and known as the Exchange. Still later, it housed the offices of the Bengal Nagpur Railway. It was at one corner of the parade ground, now known as the Maiden. The Raj Bhavan then known as Government House was opened a little later. <inaudible> library For teaching purposes, the College of Fort William accumulated a library of old manuscripts from all over South Asia and added multiple copies of its own imprints. The list of books recommended later for preservation includes many books of historical value. When the college was wound up, it gave away the magnificent collection in the library to the newly formed Calcutta Public Library, now the National Library. Topic: <laughs> Hurdles. The Court of Directors of the British East India Company were never in favour of a training college in Calcutta, and for that reason there was always a lack of funds for running the college. Subsequently, a separate college for the purpose, the East India Company College at Haleybury, England, was established in 1807. However, Fort William College continued to be a centre of learning languages, with the British settling down in the seat of power, their requirements changed. Lord William Bentinck announced his educational policy of public instruction in English in 1835, mostly to cater to the growing needs of administration and commerce. He clipped the wings of Fort William College, and the Dalhousie administration formally dissolved the institution in 1854. <laughs> <laughs> Eminent scholars 
Fort William College was served by a number of eminent scholars. They contributed enormously towards development of Indian languages and literature. Some of them are noted below. William Carey (1761–1834) was with Fort William College from 1801 to 1831. During this period, he published a Bengali grammar and dictionary, numerous textbooks, the Bible, grammar and dictionary, and other Indian languages. Matthew Lumsden (1777–1835). John Borthwick Gilchrist (June 1759–1841). Marityunje Vidyalankar c. was first pandit at Fort William College. He wrote a number of textbooks and is considered the first conscious artist of Bengali prose. Although a Sanskrit scholar he started writing Bengali as per the needs of Fort William College. He published Batras Singhazan Hitapadesh and Rajabali The last named book was the first published history of India. Meridiunjoy did not know English so the contents were possibly provided by other scholars of Fort William College. Tarini Sharan Mitra a scholar in English, Urdu, Hindi, Arabic and Persian, was with the Hindustani department of Fort William College. He had translated many stories into Bengali. Lalu Lal, also spelt as Lalulal or Lalo Lal, the father of Hindi Kariboli prose, was instructor in Hindustani at Fort William College. He printed and published in 1815 the first book in the old Hindi literary language Braj Basha, Tulsidas's Vinaypatrika. Ramram Basu (1757–1813) was with the Fort William College. He assisted William Carey, Joshua Marshman and William Ward in the publication of the first Bengali translation of the Bible. Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar was head pandit at Fort William College from 1841 to 1846. He concentrated on English and Hindi while serving in the college. After discharging his duties as academician, and engagements as a reformer he had little time for creative writing. Yet through the textbooks he produced, the pamphlets he wrote and retelling of Kalidasa's Shakuntala and Shakespeare's A Comedy of Errors he set the norm of standard Bengali prose. Maidan Mohan Tarkalankar taught at Fort William College. He was one of the pioneers of textbook writing. 